Hey guys, it is uh, Gary from the Tutorial Cell, and today I'm going to teach you how to do this effect. Alright, so I call it the Dissolve slash uh, Teleportation effect. I created it by myself, um, except for the uh, Swirl effect. Um, now, before you do anything, before you film, I need you to, once you're done making yourself look like you're going to disappear, you're going to go to the end of the clip and notice how I'm walking away. Now, everyone everyone does that before, when they uh, go to turn off their camera, but you're going to want to leave your camera undisturbed, just pointing at wherever you're filming, and just keep it pointing there for like 5 or 10 seconds. Now, um, the reason for that, I'll show you later, but do not film this outside because a lot of things are moving outside. You need to do it in a space that is contempt and will not be disturbed all right so and all right and I want to talk about something else this uh, swirl effect that I have um, let me just put it into a composition so you guys can look at it that I showed you in the beginning of the video for the uh, teleportation I got this offline it's just a bunch of particles swirling and then exploding now it's pretty cool um, I got it uh, out of a uh, a compositing I know I found I got it out of some stock footage online and I got the uh, the sound effect from an intro I'll put both of these links in the description so you can use it for this tutorial and for future projects it's a really cool effect and uh, I really want to get started so let's go ahead now I'm just delete this for any newcomers in After Effects if you're a newcomer click on your film that you just made and drag it down to the new composition button Fast forward to the part where you want to uh, start to disappear. For instance, I want to start right here. So I'm gonna click on the mask tool, uh, or you can hit the, uh, or you can hit what's it called? What's that button? You can hit G. You can hit G and it'll auto select it. Just another pro tip. Now start outlining yourself with the pen tool, or as many people call it, the masking tool. Outline everywhere on your body. Make sure it's not sloppy. Make sure it's decent or well done. Now say you accidentally want to cross the screen like this and then like that and then oh no. Oh no, how am I supposed to fix this? What you're going to do is you're going to hit control and then Z and it'll delete. Just keep on hitting it until you're back to where you, before you messed up. Keep on going. and we are done all right notice how it masks out the uh, whole entire it's just you and there's a black background we, w we don't want there to be a black background so we're gonna put uh, right here I'm gonna put this under everything uh, your main footage now make sure your mask footage is on the top and uh, wherever you started uh, your transportation of invisibility you're going to delete everything else because you have a footage under it to back it up so here it is right here and now uh, we're going to select the mask on our top footage click the down arrow until you find mask path now notice if you like if you keep on going the mask isn't on you anymore now when you click this stopwatch tool um, and then say you change something, like say I change this little thing right here, I move it over. Uh, during the time that it takes to get from here to here, it will slowly move to that position. So if you if you go all the way over here and, uh, and you adjust something, it's not going to adjust well because it's going to move very slowly. So I suggest doing small little steps like right here. Go ahead and click V and you'll hit the selection tool again, or you can just click on a selection tool. Your call. Click off the screen and then click on your mask again. These little dots will appear and then you're going to adjust them to your liking around your body again. Adjust it because it went off a little bit. Make sure it's precise. And that's actually... yeah. 
Alright, so, uh, for example, what I was saying before is, notice these masks move with my body because I adjusted it. It's a, it's a really cool effect that comes with After Effects. That's why After Effects is just so awesome. Move forward some more. And just some more. Awesome. Alright. Now just do it one more time. And this will be the final time. Okay. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we are going to pull this all back up by clicking the arrow button and we are going to duplicate this bottom layer right here that has no masks no nothing on it by hitting control D and then go all the way to the end to where I told you to walk away from the camera and to just stand there uh, filming for five seconds filming nothing filming stillness I think I stressed that over enough and you're gonna go right here and you're gonna right click hit time and you, uh, you're going to hit uh, freeze frame and drag it all the way to the beginning and then just bring it all the way down now basically what we just did was we just created a still picture and I'm going to show you why that is important and right when your mask starts make sure your bottom clip that has nothing on it you're going to hit control shift and D but it doesn't it doesn't cut on the uh, on After Effects because I'm using uh, a video recorder a screen recorder so it turns it into a pen. So just for right now I'm going to manually do this and then add this one. Like that. Now it should look like this. If, once you hit Control Shift D, but since I'm on a screen recorder, it turns this into the stupid pen tool uh, that no one uses. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click down on our mask. The first feather, just a little bit, just a little bit, and now click Mask Opacity for st on the stopwatch, and then move it over to your last mask and then make the opacity from 100 to 0 and you're going to do the same thing on the bottom footage start here and click on the bottom footage and hit T for opacity uh... wait no 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 yeah uh... go to hit click T for opacity and click the stopwatch and find where right click down on here and find this is where it ended so you're going to do the same thing here change the opacity to zero now you have virtually just disappeared I'll show you it is really awesome I was really excited when I first came up with it and so yeah, you just disappeared. As you can see. Now notice we also we added in that extra layer down here because uh, notice there's a shadow in the background right here, and as you fade away, the, sh the shadow will fade away with you. And it is clean for the rest of the film. And now the final touch, final two touches is you're going to take the swirl effect that I gave to you in the description and you're going to put it into the t its own composition and you just find a spot where you can actually see the, the swirl and then go to effect or right click on it which I like to do better more more and you're going to go to effect uh, you're going to go to channels or channel whatever and you're going to go to shift channels and 
and you're going to uh, just leave it at alpha and then you're going to go to uh, effect channel remove color matting and it just makes the black uh, background a little more black and now you're going to exile this composition go back to your original composition go to the project media and you're going to go to this little swirl too it, you made your own composition with it and put it just a couple frames before and you're going to change this from normal but make sure you have title switches and modes turned on so you have this change this to uh, add and make this bigger by hitting uh, scale so just bring this down a little bit All right. so now notice it's going to start and put it in between your top footage and the footage right below it so that it'll look like this it'll swirl all around you and there's a little explosion at the end so I want the explosion to happen uh, right when I disappear so move this back a little bit see I'm still I'm still here alright see so it's going to start right about here and then BAM there's an explosion now we're going to go ahead and add the sound effect Put it under everything because we really don't need to see the sound effects. So if you put it on top, this is what's going to happen. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now you're going to click on the down arrow. Click on down on audio. Click waveform. And notice there's this little waveform. So you're going to start it. Start this little waveform right here. You can see the audio. Start it right. and then it should match up perfectly so let's just test it out so you back it up a little bit doesn't match up quite well Alright, and now you're going to go to the end here, right when this is all done. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial, guys. And then you're going to go to con Composition, and you're going to hit Add to Render Queue. And you're going to click here, make sure everything it's on Best. Hit OK, Output Mode, click on it. And change the format from Avi to QuickTime. If you don't like QuickTime, that's too bad. It's just the best one here. And change format options to photo JPEG and change the, change the quality to 100. And click audio output because we have audio. And save it to wherever you want. Alright guys, that's it for this week's tutorial for from me. And uh, hope to see you guys next time.